desperate for help. Hundreds of people from the village of Palmita Candelia have been stranded for days. Many have gone without food or drinking water since severe flooding left them homeless. Government provided rations are a lifeline, but people say it's not enough. We haven't eaten since it started raining. The water took away everything. The children are sick. Fisherman Jose Lopez says he was lucky to have gotten his disabled daughter out of their house in time. Look at my house now. The water took everything. The bed, fridge, everything. We're homeless now. More than a million people were affected by two tropical storms that slammed into Mexico last weekend. Worst hit was the Pacific state of Guerrero, where more than 40 people have died. In some areas, two months' worth of rain fell in just two days. Thousands have been forced to seek refuge in Acapulco. Here, people wait for the water to recede and the mudslides to be cleared, wondering what awaits them when they return home. But the government has a perhaps more pressing job to take care of first. 40,000 tourists have been trapped in Acapulco since the storms hit. Many say that they've been here waiting in line for a flight for more than three days. They're hot, they're tired, and they've had enough. As tensions rise, some passengers have started blocking the entrance to the military airstrip. Planes keep arriving and they leave, but the line doesn't move. There's a lot of people with little children who've been sleeping here for 72 hours. With more storms on the way, the government is now racing against time, trying to get supplies to where they're needed the most. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, Acapulco, Mexico.